Hey guys, it's Dina, and there was a question yesterday about how to get a better trace for you know, whatever it is that you're working on, whether it's stencils or print and cut stickers, cupcake toppers, whatever you're working on. Um, I went out and I found a low quality crown image online as well as a higher quality crown image. Um, when you're searching for clip art to trace and make a shape or and whatever your end result is, what you want to keep in mind is the higher the resolution or the higher the quality of the image, the better of a trace that you will get. All right. So what I'm going to do is trace each of these individually so that they're not um, grouped together. So you can watch me do, go through those steps here. And just like before, we draw our box. We uncheck high pass. We adjust our threshold and scale, and then we choose trace. Okay, so we're going to do that to the bottom one as well. Now you might be asking, oh, look at that, I got a line in there. That's interesting. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I know which trace method that I want? Well, keep in mind, in the first video that I showed, Trace and Detach is going to remove the background if you want to use just that image on a sticker or cupcake topper or something, okay? Trace Outer Edge is just going to get the outer edge of the design. Um, trace, where you see the double-lined butterfly, let's say that this bottom crown has diamond cutouts or something in the design, and I want to keep that and I want to trace those as well, then I would use this top option up here. For my purposes today, it's not really going to matter. Trace or trace outer edge is going to get me the same end result. Now, when I zoom in on this bottom one, you can see my lines are pretty clean. Right? I mean, there might be a little bit of bumpiness up on some of them, but it's not, it, it really isn't that bad. On the one above it, however, you can see that I have a lot of jagged lines, a lot of them. And at this point, because I've been working with the software so much, I don't know that I would go forward with this because I would have a lot of point editing to do manually, and I don't have time for that. Okay, so higher quality images are going to get you a better starting or jumping off point. But if you can't find a higher quality image, then what you can do is use the icon in the upper left to edit the points, highlight your image first, then edit your points, and you can see all of the gray boxes here, okay? It's just messy, and I frankly don't want to deal with <laughs> that. A couple of things that you can do. Over on the right panel, you can see that Simplify is active, and you can click on Simplify and you can see that some of those gray boxes are moving around, but it's really not doing a whole lot of difference because of how jagged the lines are. And that just tells me that I will have a lot of manual manipulation coming my way, okay? Now, the other way that you can do this is just by simply double clicking on the line image, okay? It gets you to the same spot where you can edit your points. And we're just gonna zoom in here so that we can see some of these lines here and all of the gray edits, edit points. Now, one thing that you can do, and we'll use one where you can actually just see it, is click on the gray box, and that activates the other options over here in point editing. What you definitely don't want to do is press delete on your keyboard because that will delete the entire image. If you happen to do that by mistake, just simply undo it using the left turned arrow to undo or control Z. If I want to delete this line, I simply click delete point and that's going to get rid of that specific point in there. Now down here we see all of this waviness. This is where it can get a little tricky and you know like I said you may not want to deal with this because this is just that's a lot of work. So delete, 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 delete. I mean you're clicking this a lot right and then your line is straight. It's not straight. It's it's crazy. One thing that can help you, oops, if I keep clicking off of that, let me see it, 
is um, a little trick to select multiple nodes is first hold shift on your keyboard then draw a box around all of the nodes that you want to highlight or remove so you can see everything is selected here and at this point if I wanted to make them flat curve or simply delete them then I can do that okay now when I zoom out You can see that it's still not that great. It's a uh, you know like a squared off line or a squared off shape. If I want to smooth it, then I can do that. If I want to make it a curve, then this gives me my handles where I can continue to manipulate my shape. Okay, so just keep in mind that um, you know you have control over this, but starting off simple is going to help you tremendously. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the comments or send me a message. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.